Bottle and Blitz is back here with some organic chemistry quick notes. Um, this time, we're never going to talk about electron, neutrons, protons, but we are going to talk about electron, neutrons, and protons, but not as what we did last time. Just going to keep it simple. This one. Yeah, I know electrons are a negative charge of atoms, and they have a configuration within the atom, which are located in the shell which is the layers outside the atoms and orbitals are the near the exact location of each electrons based on the type of orbitals and you know there are two orbitals for organic chemistry organic chemistry which is the s orbital and the p orbital the s orbital is shaped like a circle it have the lowest amount of energy it's always two electrons the p orbitals have can hold up to about six electrons. For every one p orbital, there's two electrons, and for every shell, they can hold up to six of those p's. And it's shaped like an eight with a shade at bottom. The electron configuration is the order of the kind of electrons inside the atom. That is the electron configuration. Usually you start with the lowest energy possible, which is the S orbitals, because P orbitals are more higher energy than the S orbitals. So the very first layer usually is 1s. Now, when I say 1s in this term, this is first shell 1 S orbital. If you see someone at a superscript or power of, that is the amount of electrons within that orbital, which is usually two or four or six. If you see someone at a subscript of X, Y, Z, that is the axis of the shape of electrons, because don't forget every elect every orbital have two electrons in it, or one orbital, and that have spin the opposite, and you want to look for the axis they're on for organic chemistry. The order usually states as 1s, 2s, 3s, and 2p, 4s, and 3p, 5s, 4p, and 3d, 5p, 4d, and 5d, 4l. Yeah, I know, same thing I said. Anyway, now, for bonding part, usually the normal gases of the periodic table, the outermost shell, are filled with electrons, which is why it goes so well with other atoms because the outermost shell is not that filled with any electrons. Their goal is to get filled with electrons. Don't forget, an atom goal is to use the lowest energy amount possible. An electron is negative charge, which doesn't use that much energy like protons does, so you want electrons. Anyway, that's just my stuff. I'm not going to tell you the Hans rules of how the Electron got to be paired up and group each other for the configuration or I'm not going to tell you how to The Heisenberg rule state that you can never find the exact location. This is y'all saying not mine. Anyway, I'm out